So Borderlands 3 came out not too long ago and I have put enough time in the game where I feel like I am comfortable enough to make a review that is worth a shit, especially since I've played Borderlands 1 and 2. So I feel like I have enough experience for not only people that have played Borderlands and are still kind of like, oh, should I buy the game or not? I feel like my opinion will help you in some sort of way, but I will also be some objective as possible. So that if other player, new players get into the game, they're not gonna be like, did I have to play the first or second one? Honestly, no. So let's get right into it. So like I said, I grew up playing Borderlands 1. I was a teenager when that game came out and I remember it like it was yesterday, loved it. Played as Mordecai, thought he was cool as shit. Still think it's cool as shit. And honestly, not a lot of bad memories from Borderlands 1. I think it was just great the whole the whole ride. Beat the game, and then I picked up Lilith. Beat the game with her, and then I picked up the game with Brick and Roland and never beat the game with them because I didn't like them. I've, I did a many of farms for that, for that game. But after a while, I kind of moved on to another game. Borderlands 2 comes out. The hype around that game was great. Like, it was in Borderlands 3 level. Don't get me wrong. But it was... Oh my god. The, the hype for that game was wild. Game comes out. Immediately go to Zero because I'm an edgelord. Loved him. Beat the game with him. Thought he was cool. Went to Maya. Beat the game with her. Loved her. Fell in love with her. Just played Maya. Forgot who Zero was. Loved the game. Picked the game up with Salvador. Thought he was great. Almost beat the game with him. Played Axton. Didn't even get to level five. Thought he was thought he was asked. Didn't like him. And yeah, I I played a bit of a prequel sequel. Didn't even beat the game with any character because I thought it was boring. That was really ass. I didn't like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it's the worst game I've ever played from a Borderlands perspective. Played a little bit of the Tales of the Borderlands. I know who the characters are and whatnot. Just never really wanted to beat the game until I found out that Scooter dies in that game, which immediately killed all my fucking vibe from that game. So, yeah. We get to Borderlands 3. The hype for this game has been unreal. I have been seeing casual people talking about like this game like it's gonna be the next coming. I don't know how they think this. Like I played Borderlands 1, 2, and some of the others, and I was just like, yeah, Borderlands is great. I just don't think casuals like it that much. To to like I know casuals like it. I'm not dumb. I'm just more confused about the, the level of hype it's gotten. And, but that's just me being me. So, I get Borderlands 3. I got it on Epic, unfortunately. Well, I say unfortunately, but I got it for free. I was going to buy it for PS4 because I just hate the Epic launcher. But after my friend was like, you know what, Tony? Uh, I'll, just, I'll just get it for you. And I'm like, nah, it's fine, dude. Like, I'll just get it for PS4. He's like, no, no, I want to play with you. I want, I want, I want like, because I have a group, my Destiny group. They wanted me to play with them, and he's like, yeah, I'll buy it for you, don't worry. And I was like, all right, cool, I'm not going to fight you on that. So he ended up buying it for me, which is great. Thank you, uh, Jonathan. I love you. And honestly, kind of happy I got it for PC because I've been hearing a lot of optimization issues for PS4, Xbox One, even PC themselves. Like, real quick, the optimization for this game has been fucking horrendous. Oh, my God, guys. I'm, I'm on PC. I don't have the... The most craziest fucking re um, computer. I'm not gonna lie. I have like what a nice 77700 with uh, what is it? 1060 and then like 16 no, yeah, 16 gigs of RAM and then the, all this other shit. So my my rig's not that crazy, but like it should not be being a potato like this. So that was a little disappointed, especially when we started the game. We're all hyped, we're all excited, and then it's just. <laughs> like literally potato mode and i was like that's cool definitely love this so that was disappointing but lo and fucking behold problem stopped for me at least and i get to the story so we're gonna talk about the story first like i said i'm halfway through the story or i think i said 
I'm halfway through the story. I haven't beat it yet. I already know what happens because I saw one of my favorite Destiny YouTubers, um, Astacross. I saw his review for it and he immediately showed the ending. And I was like, that's cool. Okay, whatever. You're lucky you're cool. I'd be pissed. But it's interesting. Especially to the point where I'm at. Me, co me coming like from a Borderlands veteran perspective, a lot of things are very catered towards me, towards veteran. A lot of nostalgia is just mixed in there. I feel like Borderlands 2 did nostalgia a little bit better and a little bit more respectful. And when I say respectful, I a few deaths happened that I just don't not this I do not agree with. But overall, I think honestly, this game probably has the weakest story. Aside from Borderlands prequel sequel, but other than that, I really don't judge a Borderlands game from story, even though I do think it's like a D at best. Especially like, especially when you really think about it, Handsome Jack, one of the greatest villains in gaming, I think. Aside, aside from like, uh, what's his name? Oh man, I forgot his name. The uh, the bad guy from. From Far Cry 3 Voss. Him and Handsome Jack are like pinnacle. Pinnacle villainy. I love it. So. You compare Handsome Jack to the Calypso Twins. And it's just day and night dude. Like Calypso Twins are cringy little fucking kids. I hate the whole. Oh don't forget to like, follow, and obey. Oh my god dude. The fucking. The story is so cringy at times. That I literally have to scream and go na 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 to just like zone out the cringe. It's so bad. Like I can tell, I can tell the writers who wrote this were literally like super fucking annoyed by streamers. They're like, yeah, let's make this story that makes them into these streamer douchebags. Literally. These writers, whoever y'all are, y'all are garbage. This was horrible. This was cringy, bro. Oh my god, it was bad. I hated every second of it. I still do. Like, I, every time I hear them talk, it's just like, bro, like, can I just chop my nuts off? Seriously? Like, I, that seems more fun than this. So, honestly, story and character wise, I think it's just kind of bad. I, I think it's kind of bad, especially like the new character they introduced, A. a uh, Ava or whatever her name is. I fucking hate her. Me and my friends hate her. We loathe her. We're all we just all just oh my god dude. Especially when we get to a point where Maya and her are involved with a vault. Bro, we were just like, yo, can like this girl like go kill herself? Like I'm sorry, dude. Like I hate this little cunt. Ah bro. I'm, let's get over story. Obviously you guys already know how I feel about it. I don't think it's the best. I think it's actually pretty bad. But the side quests are fucking fire. But that's not that's not new though. So let's get to the gameplay. I feel like the gameplay. I'm very skewed on this part because on one hand I love the new changes. I love that we can slide. I love that we can do a ground slam for every character. I love that we can do like mounting. I love that we have parkour skills. Like we can actually jump and then mount something i really like that but for me i can't give it extra points i can't be like oh yeah th oh my god this is amazing no destiny already does that not the ground slam mind you but like the <clears throat> the sliding the mount mounting on things that get destiny already does that so it's not like oh my god they're they're like doing new things in the industry no they're literally copying destiny 2 which is not bad i'm not even saying they're copying destiny 2 i'm just saying they're evolving to the point where they're you like you expect that type of shit from any, any other first person shooter so for me i can't really give it bonus points because every other shooter does that so on one hand i love that they did that but on the other hand i wanted more i want more identity i want more new things because i don't know that's just me i think the ground slam is like probably the only thing that's unique to them and even then probably not so gameplay wise game's fun the the gunplay is fucking fun oh my god i love the gunplay now like 
actually shooting a gun feels nice in this gun this game compared to like Borderlands 2 and 1 which I didn't think the I didn't I didn't think the gunplay was fun at all like the the game was fun itself I think the gunplay lacked sometimes especially like when you were using like torque weapons I hated using torque we weapons because of that but I think Borderlands gunplay is a little bit better uh, Borderlands 3's gunplay is a little bit better actually a lot better if i'm being really honest so i think that's something that they're really great with but again it's just industry standard bro industry standard if they fucked up on that it would have been way worse so like i said it's just a lot of people who are like oh my god like these guys are fucking they're reinventing the fucking wheel it's like no they're not they're just industry standard bro they're just doing the standard that every every game does like you can't really give them bonus points for something that every other game does now i could have given them bonus points if they were doing more than what other games do so that's where i'm kind of skewed like on one hand i like that the new changes are here but on the other hand these changes should be here it's not like a whether like oh we might not have had it if we might not have had it that would have been bad so that's where I'm at. I'm a 50-50 with that. Do with that what you will. I think another problem and a good thing is customizing. There's so much more customizing in this game than all the previous ones. You can have a gun tag. You can have different skins. You can have different helmets. You can have a different skin for your computer thing. I forget what it's called. And you can have weapon skins. So I, there is more customization in this game. I love it. I love it to death. I just feel like, like I said, I'm halfway through the game. So maybe halfway. I'm not even sure where I'm at in the game. But if there's more out there, then I will for sure check myself. But it feels like more a majority of the items, the customizing items in the game are locked behind Earl. And he's the crazy guy underneath Sanctuary. So all the helmets, all the customizing shit that you can get. I feel like they're half, like half of them or more than half of them are behind him. Which doesn't bug me all too much because I don't have to pay money to do that. It's just kind of play the game and then you'll eventually get it. But if that's the case, it kind of ruins the whole going out in the world and trying to find new shit thing feel because in borderlands 2 especially in borderlands 2 it was great to like just go around that world and try to see if you can find something new a perfect example of this was the minecraft cave in borderlands 2 so there was a cave where it was just blocked off by minecraft dirt and the only way you were able to get through that was to dig yourself so you have to punch the fucking dirt what you do in the in the game already so Im imagine me teenager tony teenager yeah teenager tony punching a wall and then going through it and then going through another wall punching it and then seeing like uh the stone taking a little longer and me just giggling the whole time because this shit was funny and then going through the and then going to the other side to find fucking creepers there's literally creepers in the game and then after killing all the creepers, killing the big creeper, the main one, the big cheese, to find out he drops, uh, I wasn't a legendary if I remember correctly, it was a purple, but it was a purple fucking shotgun that shot fire or whatever. I remember what it shot actually, but it was like little blocks and it was hilarious. And it dropped a helmet and that helmet was basically your fucking, like your head your but your def default head but as a minecraft character and i was just like it's shit like that i was just like this is amazing like what the fuck and it was just more of that so i think customizing especially especially if they're gonna be if they're gonna try to be better than borderlands 2 we're gonna have to see a bunch of holiday updates little mini dlcs that we got from borderlands 2 we have to see all this type of things that we we saw with Borderlands 2 because Borderlands 2, in my opinion, did it perfectly. It was like five dollars for each DLC, and it brought you like a little area with maps or with a uh, loot and skins and all this other shit. And 
at the time it was great i don't even think it was a, it was five dollars like a dollar or some shit it was really cheap so if borderlands 3 doesn't do that i'm gonna be really disappointed especially since that's just a big part of my childhood or yeah i guess childhood so my final thoughts is borderlands 3 it's worth it if you're a veteran just ex you have your expectations a bit lowered especially for story story especially if you're a maya fan if you're like a fan of other characters it's the way they're they handle the few characters i'm just kind of like that's mm, i don't know how i feel about that like spoiler i'm gonna tell you what happens if you guys don't want to know about this then cut it right here uh thank you for coming to the video like comment subscribe all that good shit i will see you guys later but if you're here they actually end up killing maya in the dumbest fucking way which is why the which is why my hatred for yeah, the fucking little girl i forget her name has in intensified i fucking loathe her because we lost we lost maya because of her because she's gonna become a siren one day fuck fuck her i don't oh my god but yeah pretty much that's what happens so honestly losing maya the way i the way we did has kind of killed the game for me like it's killed my vibe it really did i'm just like they probably meant it as a very like endearing like oh no we lost our one of our main characters and it just did not feel that way like i remember when we lost roland it was very like oh fuck oh fuck like we were like just it was such a sad moment here it was not because the fight that happened was just bad it wasn't even a fight it was just kind of like okay i'm gonna take the little girl and then maya was like oh no i'm gonna take your brother and then the girl's like oh no you have my brother okay i'll let the little girl girl and the brother was like hey i can take your power because i'm a guy siren and then that's it she died i'm like what the fuck it's like the way the, the way they handle that was so like subpar like these characters obviously have plot armor on bro and what hurts the most is that like sirens are just becoming so trivialized like there's the the calypso twins who are like brother and sister sirens there is maya and lilith but those two we already knew about plus the other one the the new character siren which we she's a character we already expected a siren so these the th those three are fine the calypso twins being sirens i'm just like that seems a little iffy bro especially when it's like what two so five so we have five sirens right now maya calypso twins lilith and four four no and the new character five then we find out the fucking what's her face the crazy scientist ends up being tannis is a fucking siren as well so six there's six i'm just <sighs> my final thoughts is that borderlands is a fun game to play but they're butchering the fucking story and it kills me so that's my thoughts let me know what you guys think about the game do you guys think do you guys agree with me you guys think i'm being too much of a fucking hard ass about this let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more content like that make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like anything just oh my god dude yeah like just thinking about this has pissed me off so i will see you guys later in the next video i'm gonna be making a legendary like let's play type thing where i show you where you can get legendaries so make sure you um, comment on what you think about that. Other than that, I will see you guys later.